Good morning. Welcome to my homestead garden. Um, this is the first morning and the afternoon before that it didn't rain in, in weeks now. So I've decided to come out in the garden. Um, it's an old garden. What a perfect opportunity here to show you what I did, how I did. And as I go, I, I will be explaining to you what I'm up to and how I do it. Hopefully it will help someone design their own. This is the garden from my kids. The older one, Andre, he's decided to put his beds this way. The younger one, Adrian, has decided to do the same as me. I've got, at the moment, 10 market garden beds, or 10 garden beds. If you've watched my previous videos, um, I call this a no dig garden, but I have plowed the whole thing last winter, and this spring I have cleaned it up again with the tractor. So why I've done it? Well, this is the reason. If you have been following us, we have bought raw land. And this here, you couldn't even stand here. This was full of bramble, blueberries, blackberries, um, all weeds. So I had to do the initial till just to help myself establish the garden. So, you know, for one, one or twice, just before you're establishing the garden, to do the initial till, it's nothing bad. I mean, it won't be tilled again. Uh, if I didn't till it, I'd have to put silage tarps, cut everything, which I don't know how I would cut it by just by hand. I still have to use the tractor to cut everything down low and then put silage tarps for probably a year before I can plant something. So this way I have created the garden within, you know, month, couple of months. Uh, if you watched the previous videos, I have done one bed by one and I have dug up all the soil, took all the roots out and at this stage it takes me about 15 minutes every two days to weed this, this whole garden, which is great. Uh, doesn't matter whether it rains or not, I've got the wood chip footpaths, I can always after the rain get into the garden and uh, it's a great design. I'll have to redo the wood chips on the lower end because I haven't put enough, I haven't had enough, so I have to, because I'm gonna stop building garden beds, now I can make more wood chips and actually get these um, footpaths filled up. So I don't need to dig these, to till these, I don't need anything, I can just pull the weeds out by hand and the garden beds are wide enough so I can step over them with these. Um, we had hailstorm a couple of nights ago and a lot of leaves got holes in them, um, a lot of tomatoes are gone and all my peppers are gone. So I picked all the peppers and cut out all the bad bits and um, just get use them before they rot. As you can see, the maintenance here is easy. Now, the plan was to build about five more garden beds here, but the rain has just messed everything up for me and it became really alone. I'm supposed to go around now and till all this up and uh, get this uh, everything out, but I'm not gonna go and do it. We are late in the season. So what I will do is I will actually cover this and have these beds 
will have this part of the guard beds ready for myself for the next year. I've got some sweet potato and uh, some pumpkins here. My son has planted some giant pumpkins here. So we'll see what happens with them. And I've got some Jap pumpkins. You can't buy Jap pumpkins here. We love making pumpkin soup and uh, we absolutely love Jap pumpkins for the soup. I hope um, we've got enough time in the year to get some pumpkins. So this covered bed that I have here, um, I just use my long clippings that I done here. There's a ge ge geotextile underneath and I'll cover them and in um, just before winter I'll be planting garlic and onions here. So that's that's gonna become that bad. Um, I haven't planted enough potatoes so there I've got the pumpkins and sweet potatoes. I'm gonna probably plant potatoes. Um, I think the pumpkins will suppress enough of the weeds that I won't have to cover this. I don't have enough textile to put on the floor. I'm missing about a row and a half now. But once I pull that stuff off there, that will be enough to cover this. Um, still plenty of time till I get to this part of the garden, so I'm not worried. I mean, it's next year. And by the time I start planting from that side, this way and making these beds, this will be, this will be more than clear. So now you're wondering why I'm not putting cardboard. There's a lot of guys are suggesting, but we've got creeping grasses. For creeping grasses, cardboard is not good enough. They'll just puncture through it. Uh, cardboard lasts for a couple of weeks. It rots. Uh, and the rhizomes that are left in the ground, these grasses will just come through them. And uh, in the end, you've done nothing really. So I need something like this stuff for the grass for the grass that cannot puncture puncture through i really and this is the way to kill it the geotextile that i have is see-through so it really won't stop the weeds from growing underneath it but i've got a lot of straw i've got i got it last year for really really cheap uh, it's time for it to change so I'm gonna be putting that on top and that's gonna stop the light and it's gonna start killing the weeds. So geotextile is just there to stop the weeds from poking up through it. Now I'm trying to make the garden on, on a ch as cheap as possible. Uh, ideally I'd have to buy silage types, a lot of plastic and put it on there, which I'm, I'm not really a fan of plastic and buying something in just to cover this for a few months, I mean, I've got this already, so this whole garden cost me about 70 euros for now. Uh, because I was late on the garden, I bought all the tomato starts, uh, pepper starts, and a few other things, and they cost me 40 euros out of these 70. If I was here on time, the garden would be much, much cheaper. The other 30 euros I paid for seeds and pelletized organic manure that I put on this garden. So, really, uh, it's not not really expensive. I didn't show you. This is the how my how the garden or where the garden is looked like that day looked like that this year last year this time so i've left this little batch here a piece just to remind me when i get down and stuff and i think oh i didn't do much uh just to remind me and go jesus christ your property looked like that and now you have a beautiful garden
obviously I'll be cleaning this up hopefully by the end of the year or next year but this is my little reminder So I'm putting enough of this through, so I just stop all the lights from going through this and I can kill all the weeds. So why I'm wasting hay? Um, here hay is really not appreciated. There's not many animals where they use it to put under them. So really I have just paid someone to collect it for me, which is bug all. Um, people are leaving it on fields and uh, a lot of them are glad if someone wants to remove it off their land. Then they don't have to pay a mulcher to mulch it back into their soil because it costs the money. This way, I pay for someone to collect it, bail it for me and take it away, which is really, really cheap. And uh, once this uh, does its own job, does this job for me, for me not to dig and killing all these weeds, this is gonna become a great compost for me. Here is really, really hard to get compost. You can get these little bags of compost. And now, the way people recommend uh, you put cardboard down and then you put like 15 centimeters of compost. To do this garden, I need two semi trellis of compost here. I couldn't afford that. That's just too expensive here to buy in the little bags because obviously you can't buy it in bulk. So this is the great way to, for me to use a really, really cheap resource that I can get here. Obviously, somewhere these wells are expensive here are here they are really really cheap we got about 25 bells each uh, it cost us 15 euros so the bells here are really really cheap but somewhere you can find wood chips here you can't get wood chips I've got to make my own so you use what you have while we're talking about compost I've got to fix my composting station what I have is at the moment is uh, overflowing and um, it's not enough so probably that's gonna be the next project as I'm gonna slow down in the garden I'll have enough time to do that so this is my garden I have put 10 bales there and for some it seems to be a waste at the moment most expensive is 10 bales are 10 euros I look at it as an investment uh, actually a really really good investment for 10 euros how much chemical fertilizer can I buy or how much organic fertilizer can I buy for 10 euros not really much this is gonna save me time I don't want to be digging this garden for days to do what this thing is gonna do so this is gonna be creating myself a garden while I sleep that's a really really good deal for 10 euros um, I have read or seen somewhere don't quote me exactly in 1960s, 50s, 60s, one carrot had enough nutrients and vitamins in it as uh, about one or two kilos of carrots today. So what have we done in 50, 60 years with our food? It's only important for it to be, to look nice and be big. Quantity, no quality. So I think 10 euros here, it didn't cost me 10 euros. Uh, it's a really really good investment plus this stuff is gonna rot it's gonna become food for my garden so making me garden saving me time in my back and it's gonna feed my garden I reckon it's really 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 good investment so guys don't be shy to try things don't be shy to experiment don't be shy to make a mistake it's fine our grandparents didn't know everything they probably did the same thing they have experimented I was told here 
there is no walnuts there is some fly the walnuts become black yes there is the fly but i have still started collecting walnuts we have collected more than enough walnuts for the whole year and then those people that told me that walnuts are not good they have been collecting walnuts but the walnuts on the other side it's only there's only two walnuts in the whole village that are good and that's where you have to collect them the other ones are bad i was also told uh, there is no hazelnuts here just cut your hazelnuts they're wild they will never grow i went i'll give them a go i cleaned up all the mess around them and you know what i have hazelnuts growing at the moment so listen to people take advice but give it your own go give it your go get, try it yourself i think uh, that's the best thing and since i have been here i have actually started appreciating my time here before i was thinking time is money time is money and no time is only limited you have limited amount of time that you're on this earth uh, every second that passes by you can't get it back money you can always go and work harder and uh, make more money you spend it and you make more your time when you spend your time you're not getting it back so i don't want to spend days in this garden weeding if i can do this in an hour or so and then spend my time with my animals with my family doing bits other bits go with work on my bees I enjoy doing that too so don't want to be a slave to my garden i want to do a lot of things and uh, use my time wisely anyway thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i didn't rant too much have a great day and uh, hopefully i see you in the next video bye